I'd like to know what size jib. This week we inventory the sails that came with our Fernau boat, and there are a lot of them. So we have three jibs, three spinnakers, and two mains. Yeah. Because it's we don't know anything about spinnakers. <laughs> we are currently suburban homeowners. We'd love to be sailing cruisers, but for now, we're in the middle. Since we are tra trapped in this of the coronavirus, it is, what's the day today? The 29th of March, 2020, we're in Minnesota. We have like, I don't know how many cases here, but we're on lockdown for two weeks. We don't know when we're gonna get our boat moved from Racine to Bayfield and hopefully we're gonna be able to see it much this summer, but our boat came with a lot of sails. And today we're checking them out. We brought them home from Racine. So far we think we, we know we have one jib sail. We think that's the original. Yeah. We know nothing about spinnakers. We have two. We think that's an asymmetrical asymmetrical one. We have at least two. We have at I don't know what the other two sails are. We have two of two of each of mains, jibs, and spinnakers, and then there's two there's eight bags, so there's two more. We we had a lot of sails. Don't know what they are. So this is sail three. We're assuming this might be a main sail? I think this is the main I think that's the original jib, and I think this is the original main that goes with it. Because it's the same bag. And uh, I don't think it's been touched much. I mean, it, it has the name of the second owner with the first boat name on it. So my guess is, is he had it cleaned or serviced when he first bought the boat. And I got different Before sales. he renamed it. And it probably hasn't been touched since. Um, we're doing this in our bedroom. We don't quite have enough space, but we're just evaluating. It's raining out, otherwise we do it outside. Don't want to get them wet. Um, anyway, fun times. That noise you hear in the background, if you hear it, is our tower garden. So, we should have started it sooner. We have some greens now, because the grocery stores are all like empty. We have some arugula, basil, cilantro. Some empty spots because I wanted spinach, but apparently I can't grow spinach, so. Anyway, more sale time. So this is another spinnaker. Yeah, I'm gonna guess this is a symmetrical. So, so the other one has a sock thing. A so shoot. a sheet, a shoot, whatever. What is it called? A shoot. A shoot. Yeah. And so that one we think is the asymmetrical one, and this is the other one. Yeah. But this doesn't have a shoot. Nope. We know nothing about spinnakers, but we're just but going this, off the this language looks like, here. I'm guessing this is the bag it gets launched from. Yeah. They had it's, it on the video we watched. This one looks prettier than the other one. Yeah. So it's red on one side, green on the other. That makes me think that this is port and starboard. And that oh. It gets launched like, like that. Straight out of this. It says head. It's yeah. a good indicator. It's got a good board. And that one does look symmetrical. I mean, just from the top. That's angle. my guess. So, so did we learn that asymmetricals have socks and? Symmetricals don't. I, I mean, I don't know if that's always true, but I mean, that seems plausible. All right, that's one, two, three, four. So halfway there. Halfway there. We have a lot of sales. Okay, so this is another sale. It's a huge bag. Whatever's in it is not in there, right? One hundred and five percent jib. All right. Well, let's open it up. So this sale looks like it's never been used. I mean, it's super crispy. crispy. Yeah. So maybe they had it up once or something. I mean, I mean they had it up I enough to take it and put it in the bag wrong. Yeah, this wasn't packed by the sale maker. No. Until it happened. The way they tell it, yeah. This is a nice jib. Is 105% so, a good size? I don't know anything about the sizes. I don't know. I think it depends on where you're using it for. 
we could ask on the forum, I guess. So. so we have three jibs, three spinnakers, and two mains. Yeah. yeah. Well, two asymmetricals and a symmetrical spinnaker, I think. How many spinnakers does a people person need? Well, it's nice to have an asymmetrical and a symmetrical. I mean, we want to learn how to use these things. Yeah, so whichever one is oldest, we should practice with. My guess is, I mean, so far the crappiest looking one is the one that's in that old blue bag with the chute. This is like, now, maybe because this is only 105, maybe this is kind of small for Great Lakes, I don't know, you know? I guess we'll have to do some research. We don't even know the size of that other one, though. No, and it could be bigger. But, uh, yeah, this is brand new. Awesome. I'm guessing this is a jib. I'd like to know what size jib. I'd like to get all three jibs and lay them on top of each other and... Figure out the sizes. Figure out the sizes. Well, we'll have to do that in a drier day. We can lay them out and measure them. We could just lay them out in the yard and measure them. This one's newer, at least. So maybe use that one to, you know, if and until we break it. And then this is the one I think was that at least Frank was using. This one's obviously used. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see. It's a shame that that one's as small as it is. I think that's why it wasn't used much. Yeah. So this this is this is in good shape. It's still crispy. Well, how often did Frank actually sell anyway? So. Ah. This one has plastic lugs though. Might want to like swap. When we stop using that one, we might want to swap it out. They're not as good. I don't know if all the lugs on that slugs on that one are metal, but yeah, this one's definitely been used. But it was cleaned and and packed. And packed. So the first sales we're going to put on are those two. Is that what you're saying? The old ones. I think so. And then. And then we'll move up to these. But we'll switch the lugs to the metal ones. Uh, eventually, yeah. I think we should. And then. And then, I mean, I don't know why. Did that, you see there's one more bag down there? Yeah, there's another uh, asymmetrical spinnaker down there. Okay. Which is hilarious because the spinnakers are the ones we're likely to use the least. Everybody apparently likes their spinnakers. I guess. I mean, out of all of them, unfortunately, I think the one we probably get the least use out of is that jib, the, the big, the, the 105 jib. Who's making that noise? Is that so? Because yeah. it's, uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. It's too small, probably. <clears throat> I know. I mean, so I remember when Solianus was talking about their jib being too big. Mm -hmm. That's because they went from sailing on the Great Lakes to sailing with trade winds. So, so that's more of an ocean? I think so. I mean, I mean, I'm guessing that's why it's never really been used. Well, we're keeping it because it's all held Oh, no. I mean, there's no reason to... There's really... <laughs> if this becomes our forever boat... <laughs> then we'll need it, for sure. We'll probably need a new mainsail at some point, too. Yeah. But both the, even the old mainsail is not bad. No, I I think if there's one thing that we could, you know, be resourceful with, it's freaking salesmen. We, we have, I think we have more sales than most people. I mean, I don't know why you, I mean, I guess it just seems like a lot of sales. But like, if you were a liveaboard, where would you store all this shit, man? I mean, sales are, you know, they're good Gold. things to have backup, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they don't take up that much room. I mean, I mean liveaboard, babe. Everything you own. Especially, I mean, I'm just going to do a little scan. We still have downsizing to do. I mean, actually, we're pretty minimalist. I mean, and you can see we're super fancy with our bedroom layout. I and mean, this is our bedroom. I should bring you down to Sophie's bedroom. Hers is much fancier than ours. We're more function over form type people. So this is another... This one is labeled as an asymmetrical, a nice colorful one again. As an asymmetrical? Yeah. But it doesn't have a sock. Or whatever they're called. We don't know anything about spinnakers, babe. 
So it's labeled asymmetrical. Yeah. Hmm. Weird. Well. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it is asymmetrical. It just seems like the head looks pretty symmetrical. Uh, I, I think. I don't know anything. I think the. I think the asymmetrical ones have a pole, so that kind of determines which side they go. You know, which. I, I don't think it's necessarily the shape is asymmetrical. I think they're supposed to be flown asymmetrically. Oh, okay, so, so so maybe these two. Then the, that's an asymmetrical. That's an asymmetrical. That and that one's symmetrical. That one's symmetrical. How do we know that? That one, I believe, is. Then how? Know for sure. Then that one must be. That one's another asymmetrical. Because so these are both asymmetrical. So. I don't know how you can tell. Well, I think. If know. if one can have a sock and one can't, I, I don't. Maybe they. I don't know whether the sock is at the top. We don't know anything about spinners. <laughs> we have them. I mean, this looks. In we have three shape. of them. This that one actually looks like it's been used. These yes. these ones look like they've been barely used. Why we have two of these is not clear. To, well, actually, why those two sales exist is not clear to me because this is a set, this is a set, and this is like. A jib that's probably not very useful where the boat is located, and this seems like it's just a duplicate of this. So I have a question: Are spinnaker sails specific to boat types? What do you mean boat types? Do we need both of these freaking sails? Can you sell one? I mean, I'd like to find out which one is the better one. Well, I'm not saying we can't do that, but it's like, do we really need to store two of the exact same? I mean, I can see keeping anything that's unique, and I i mean, we don't technically even need that 105% if that really is too small for the boat. Well, I don't know. I mean, I'd have to find out. But, but our sales, big. okay, so this is my lack of knowledge. Are these sales specific to our Janelle? They are, well, they're, they're, yes. But we could, but there's other Janelles out there that could theoretically. Well, they didn't, wouldn't even need to be a Janelle. It could be a boat that was of similar size that okay. maybe could be cut down a little bit to fit okay. for it, I think, I don't know. I don't know how that really works. I mean, I would tend to agree. I don't think we need three spinnakers. Well, certainly, Not these two. two seem like duplicates. I don't yeah. Know. We also have three jibs. The three jibs I'm not so upset about because you need a jib, right? We rip a jib, we use the backup. Spinnakers, nice to have a symmetrical and an asymmetrical. I'm not sure we need duplication and spinnaker. I mean, I guess it's fine because it's not like we have, again, we're not living boards, we can yeah, store it in that garage, not, but it's like... It's not like we don't have room. Yeah, one of them, you know, we pick the one that we want to keep on the boat and then we leave the other one in the garage. In case we, we wreck just, one. We just, yeah, in case we wreck one, which you can see how thin these are. Yeah. That's the other thing. This, that, that seems that, thicker than that. That material might be a little heavier. Yeah, that's the difference. This one's heavier than that one. So that one is like super, super light air. This one would be like maybe a little heavier. That one feels this like one's super, 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 light. super light. Super light. But then this one is the, we've determined that this one, well, this one has a sock. Yeah. So, I don't know. That's all we've determined is that one has a sock. We don't, otherwise we sock. don't know what the we hell. We don't really know much more about it. But it's white, it's weird. Normally spinnakers are like colorful. This one's not. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed it and we love tips on how to actually use those spinnakers. So fill us in with a comment. And if you're interested in following our journey, subscribe so you don't miss an episode. Thanks for watching.